and they're just driving through. Find ourselves somewhere to camp up as per usual. And apparently you can get oysters here delivered to a table in the water. You can sit in the water, keep on cruising. That's what we like to do. Bean has also never had I have never had an oysters. It would be the maiden voyage and I reckon it's a pretty good place to start. Hopefully they don't taste like snot. He's in for a treat. From this point onwards into the park at Coffin Bay National Park, they recommend to lower your tire pressures. So we shall do that. I'm not sure how deep the four wheel driving is going to be, so we'll just reduce it to about yeah, 28 to 25. And then obviously, if we go onto beaches, it's a bit lower. That'll do. And I'll show you a map of the park while I'm at it. Here's the National Park. So you drive in from through Coffin Bay, in along here. We just went to the Golden Point Lookout, Yanji Bay. The campsite's pretty full, so we'll drive on through in here. Book ourselves a spot to camp tonight. Bin streams are coming true. We're about to hit a full B track and we had to let the tire pressure down, so hugely good sign. There's gonna be some nice rocks and sand and some hectic stuff to come. Should be good. Let's go. Let's go. We've just entered the track and the sign says, warning, severe engine damage. Vehicles can become submerged in deep holes and at high tide. Check water depth before entry. So we'll have to give it a suss and see where we're gonna drive through to get to the camp tonight. a campsite it was a non-allocated camping area so you're not given a site number you just choose which one you want and we found one on top of the hill protected from the wind nestled in some trees and best part we have our own teepee how cool someone's built a little teepee here let's go in it's quite spacious I think we could roll out a towel and have a little dinner in the TV. Why not? We also have two bars of 4G on our Wi-Fi dongle, which is a nice surprise. So we might have a movie night or something. Tuck and we've got heaps of data so we can stream that in HD quality rather than downloading in like 240p. Yeah. Or, it's been pretty yeah. depressing up until now, so keen for a cruisy one. And there you have it. That's Pretty much how easy it is for us to set up when we want a proper setup. Lily's just setting up the water pump, fill up our bottles, or we'll poach our chicken, and then make our dumplings for tonight. It's pretty damn easy. Awning takes 30 seconds to a minute. Literally pull it out. It is freestanding, but when we set up for the night, we just put the three poles down, and we're literally just three pegs in. Like, boom, you're done. That is safe. It's not gonna go anywhere in the wind. And then we just move everything that is in the bed in the day into the front section out here we also have lights for night time and then at the back here we've got a big light strip for cooking if we're just doing a quick setup where we don't put the awning out or the chairs and everything just goes at the front that's pretty much as easy as it is you just plug the pump in put it into the jerry we've got a jerry there 
and then plug into the power, bang, water pressure, perfect. And so this is our bed set up at night, just we sleep with our heads at the back now, we used to sleep at the other end but decided that we get a bit more bedroom because you can let the mattress overhang this edge here. This is Lily's side of the bed. And we've just bought ourselves a new fan that plugs into our 12 volt. We both have our head torches handy and that's pretty much it. Welcome to Ben Cruising Cooking Channel. We should share every now and then a little cooking content. So tonight we are having dumplings, easy one, with a side of a brothy, noodly, foey kind of situation. So we usually buy chicken breasts at the start of the week and we'll usually poach them and shred them up for lunches and things, dinner every now and then. And then the broth that is made from poaching the chickens, we usually make into a little soupy kind of situation. So we'll show you how we do that and hopefully you can implement it because it's very, very yummy. So enjoy. The lemon, fresh ginger, garlic, some trusty soy sauce. And I'm thinking we might put a bit of honey in. A bit of in. honey. This is Arthur's dad's honey. Mm. Straight it's from the hive. All crystallized. Beautiful in there. Add a dash of soy sauce. And lots of ginger. Our honey in there. Add a bay leaf as well. Got some crushed chili. to make chili oils and things with it. It's super easy for us because it's hard to keep whole chilies and things. Pretty hot too, packs a punch. Okay, step one, try not to let it boil over on your crazy good camp stove. Literally, it is as easy as you put your chicken in. Oh no! Anyway. Let it boil, put the chicken in, put your lid on and turn it off. Leave that for anywhere between 30 minutes to an hour and after that, you will have beautiful, succulent chicken breast. We've left this for 40 minutes to sit and rest and cook. Still, there we go. Let's have a little taste. Let's wind up. Mmm. Yum. Drop these guys in. We don't have a steaming device, so let all of them for a warm bath. Bruh. Just noticed the chicken thing was in there. <laughs> that ain't in there the whole time. Yeah, it must have. That's not great. Hopefully we don't die from whatever was in that. She'll be right. That's a bit awkward that that was in there. Don't do that at home, guys. Make sure to take out that thing from the chicken before <laughs> you put your chicken in there. That was a bit silly from us. Lol, from how you. did we both not notice that? That was a me. Yeah, it was me, <laughs> but like, you were standing watching me put the chicken in, so I don't know how we both didn't notice that. Anyway, that's a bit of done fun. Now. Okay, this looks pretty much done, so I've turned it off, and I've just decided to chuck the dumplings. And a little bit of oil to crisp up the edges. Voila! This is our view as we eat our dumplings. Just been doing some work. Got our dumplings, nice. Chown them down and a beautiful orange sunset. Inlet comes in just here. Top notch spot. And there's the final result of the foey noodle y situation. It smells delicious, so hopefully it tastes just as good.